I'm an islander. I am an islander. The way that you're like, oh my god, I'm sobbing, and then you're like, ha ha ha, this is very funny. 1986, the first female American captain in history. I genuinely think that everyone in the world should see this show. Welcome to the rock if you come from my way. Hey! Hello everybody, how are you? I hope you're very, very well. Today's video is about a musical. What? There is a musical. Well, there's many of musicals. There is a musical that I have said a few times now that it is the best musical I've ever seen. I wholeheartedly stand by that statement. And people are like, what? But you saw Hamilton. What? But you saw Heathers. What? But Mean Girls and The Prom and like all these amazing shows. And yes, those shows are incredible. I love them. But I've never been to a musical Musical that's made me feel the way that Come From Away makes me feel. Honestly, it's amazing. So I have now seen it five times. I saw it in the summer last year in New York and then I've seen it four times in London. I mean, it's been open for about a month so I'm really like racking up those views. Even on my fifth time, I'm moved by it and I'm just blown away by how incredible the show is. The last time I went I was invited by the team at Official London Theatre so I'm gonna leave a link down below to their like website so that you can buy tickets. Honestly I can't rate it highly enough. I mean it's like a 10 stars out of 5 for me. And here are 20 reasons why you should see Come From Away. Welcome to the rock if you come from away. Hey! The girls in my office also love Come From Away and one of us will just go welcome to the rock if you come from away and we'll go hey! and it's my favourite thing ever. If you don't know, I feel like I should tell you first what it is and then I'll give you my 20 reasons why you should see it. It's based on a true story. During 9-11, when the US airspace was closed, all of the planes that were heading over the Atlantic and heading for America weren't able to touch down because obviously the airspace was closed for the first time in history. Gander is a town in Newfoundland, which is an island just off Canada. They have this huge airport there, so all of these planes were shipped over to ship. <laughs> that makes no sense. All of these planes were told to land in Gander. Gander has approximately like 9,000 people and 7,000 people were put there in one day. Blows your mind. You, I can't even like comprehend that. It's insane. Basically, the story follows what happened in Gander in the next like five days. The people from Gander and the, um, the come from aways who ended up staying there and it's a story of like love and hope and as much as this terrible, awful thing happened, it spread so much love, so much amazing stuff came from it in Gander alone. Yeah. Here's 20 reasons why you should see Come From Away. As I've said, it's based on a true story. Now, I personally, I love stuff that's based on a true story because I am a nosy so-and-so. And so, when I see a show, I really like to like do my research on it, low-key stalk everyone who's in it. And the great thing about this is that it's all based on a true story. Like, you can watch the documentaries and there's books about it. And like for someone who I really like to immerse myself in things that I love, you best believe that I've seen those documentaries. You best believe that the book is currently on my bedside table. And you can bet that I'm booking a one-way ticket to Gander. The last bit is a joke. It's so funny. I remember the first time I heard about Come From Away. Somebody was like, oh, it's a musical about 9-11. And I was like, what? I was really not for it. I thought it's gonna be maudlin and sad and depressing and unnecessary. And I can tell you that it is the complete opposite of all those things. And it is so funny. The comedy in it is incredible. There's a character who is a guy from New York. The majority of his like character is all spoken. So he doesn't really have like solo lines and stuff that are on the cast recording. So I remember the first time I saw the show, there's some moments where he's talking about some barbecues and genuinely I was like screaming, laughing because it took me so much by surprise and it was so funny. I just think it's so unexpected with how funny it is. Oh, it's just hilarious. It, oh, it's so good. <laughs> so basically, this character from New York, his whole thing is quite comedy based and he's super duper funny. And then in the song, Something's Missing, he tells his story again, but from a New Yorker. And I think that his is the one that gets me every time that really like cuts really deep and is so emotive. And it's the way that the show is able to switch you, you know, so quickly quickly and you know just the depth of his story. One of my favourite characters in the show. I can't say that he's my favourite because honestly I love them all but he's definitely like favourite parts you know. There are
there is genuinely something for everyone in this show. I don't know how you could go into this show and not leave loving it. It's just so easy to watch. I've described it a couple of times as like watching a documentary with music. It is, it's just like watching a great story of true life where you truly believe all these people, like yes they're playing like 10 roles, but you believe that they are all of those 10 people and it's a company of just over 10 I think. And you believe it's a town of now 16,000 people. There's romance in this show. There are a couple called Nick and Diane. It's about their love story while they are in Gander. As a hopeless romantic myself, I love a love story. You know, the fact that they are real people who had this real life love story and then you see it on the stage. It warms the cockles in my soul. It's very fast paced. This show is, I think, incredibly succinct. It's maybe like an hour and 45 minutes, I think, all through with no interval, which I actually really like as well. It's perfect that they did it that way because a show that is telling of true life and is this crazy fast five days that will have felt at the time like a really long time, but will have actually flown by. I think it's suitable that there isn't a break anywhere because where would there be a break? Do you know what I mean? I have touched on this slightly with the character from New York but like the depth of the performers and the work that they do in the show is truly incredible like as I've said they multi-role so they play lots of different characters in the show they're able to show different characters with their different voices different accents different physicalities the different energies and statuses that they give off with people and it really is a masterpiece in acting just watching all of the company you see this incredible amount of work just per person when I say that they convey this town of thousands in a company of a handful it's it blows my mind and it will blow yours too. Go and see this show, please to God. I genuinely think that everyone in the world should see this show. I do. The unity that you see between the cast. So I saw it in New York and I saw it in London. In London you can already tell that they're just a great family. They support each other. I mean it's an ensemble show so you need that kind of support with each other and that camaraderie on stage. The ability to lean on each other. Nobody could do that show without everybody else in that company. Something that I really love is the New York company. Like they We've been in the show for over two years. The majority of the company that are in the show now are the original Broadway cast. As I say, they've been doing this for over two years. That's quite rare, I think, for people to be in shows for so long and so many people in shows for so long. I mean, when I saw it, I was on the front row and you genuinely feel the love between them, the eye contact and the, just the unity. Oh. I love how diverse the companies are. It's so nice to see people on stage who look like you or who look like anyone on the street. When I say it's like watching a documentary, it's because they look like real people. People of different genders and races and sexualities and backgrounds and all these different cultures coming together. All these different cultures coming together and, and the way that even though they're going through this awful time, everyone is able to link together in love and I'm sounding so cheesy. But honestly, this show like brings out something amazing in me and it will in you too. I sound like I'm being sponsored. I'm not. I mentioned official London Theatre because they sent me to see the show and it's a nice thank you. You can see yourself in the show, in the faces and the voices and the look of the people there. You can connect with them. The music. The music in the show is amazing. When people say to me like, oh what's it like? The word I always come back to is stirring. The show opens with these drums like dung duck a dung duck a dung duck a dung duck on the northeast right. When everyone's singing together and you know how I love a counter melody. There's lots of counter melodies, people singing over each other. You know I love a counter melody. There's belting and there's also like, there's like an Irish jig style to it. I love Irish music. Oh my god the song The Prayer. It starts off with like, I think it's a Christian prayer and then there's people singing all these different religious songs all put together. It's so overwhelming. As I say, the depth in the characters, but also the depth in the music. The stories that are all being told together in one song. It's amazing. And speaking of the music, I have to mention the band who support the company. The band are basically like on stage, sat at the back, and then during Screech In and Screech Out, they come onto the stage and they're part of the company. And again, it's this, this feeling of unity and togetherness, and it's so cohesive the way that the company and, and the band all blend together and I love seeing that. I love when during Screech In they're like playing their instruments and singing along and I'm like, yes! Don't you know you're not anything cause you're a girl. 1986, the first female American captain in history. The strong women in this show. I love a strong woman. 
I mean, what more is there to say? I'm obsessed with the fact Beverly Bass has made history and I'd never heard of her and here she is in this musical. I'm blown away by the fact that this musical has shown all of these true life stories. I love that I now know her story and also she's been played by two of my absolute queens, Rachel Tucker and Jen Colella. Hello. All the women, I adore the women in Come From Way. I love the men as well, but I have to play a specific mention to the women. Jenna Boyd in The London Company is incredible. She's so funny. She blows my mind. It's just wonderful to see so many strong women on the stage. The way that it's able to take you on so many different like emotional journeys and so quickly. Oh my god, a prime moment of this is at the end of Something's Missing, this incredibly heavy, it's quite a heavy song. You know, the people going back to their lives after their time in Gander and everyone's sobbing and you're all like, oh my god, I'm a complete mess. And then they're like, Tuesday. And then they go back into them having an argument about the school buses or something. The way that you're like, oh my god, I'm sobbing and then you're like, ha ha ha, this is very funny. <laughs> I didn't explain that well at all. There are sad moments of the show, but it's not too sad for too long. And there are funny moments, but it's not like taking the mick. It's so good. This kind of links into the last one, but it's the way that it only really lets you applaud two or maybe three times. So I love it in shows when it's written that it like doesn't give you a chance to applaud because then when you do get to, it feels so much more fulfilling for the audience and for the company when this big release of applause is kind of let out. At the end of Me in the Sky, she goes, me and the, hello? John and go into this next scene you don't get to applaud this incredible song that's just happened but then when you are allowed to it's so amazing and I think it's it's great theatrical writing when they don't let you do that because you're allowed to clap at the end of screeching they do a big boom you can clap now a nice big button and you're like yay and then at the end obviously it's so good as I said earlier when I was saying like this show brings out something in me like I genuinely think that this show only breeds happiness when I leave the show I feel more given I feel like there's so much more in me that I could be sharing with people I want to contact my family I want to hold people I want to make new friends I want to connect with people more. For you to leave a show and feel like you want to go and do something for the world is incredible. Not to get too deep. The London and US companies, although they do the same show and they play the same roles, they're quite different still and I love that. I had somebody say like, which is better, London or America? You just can't compare them because although they do the same performances, there are things that are slightly different because, you know, it's not a carbon copy show. The people don't even look incredibly similar to the people who play the the roles on Broadway. What I will say is that they are completely on an even balance with like the talent and skill. A lot of people are like, oh Broadway is better than the West End. In Come From Away, it's the same. The same standard. Come From Away in London fully holds up with Come From Away on Broadway. Hands down. It makes you feel a part of something. As much as I feel like I want to go out and do this stuff, I feel like we all should and it makes me feel like a part of this like warm family. Like even the people who run the Twitter are so nice and like you feel like you've been welcomed in. I'm an islander. I am an islander. And I also want to kiss the cod. And if you haven't seen the show yet and you're like, what the hell? Go and see the show to find out what I mean by kiss the cod. It's probably done wonders for the Gander and Newfoundland tourism trade. I know so many people who've been like, oh my god, should we book a trip to Gander? Because I think people are so overwhelmed by this story and wanting to know more and to experience that life and the incredible people of Gander. I, I genuinely think that it will have done wonders for the tourism trade. I want to book a holiday and I want to go over. I want to get me some cod au gratin and I want to get some screech. <laughs> I'm such a loser. It's perfection. Like genuinely, I, could, I couldn't fault any part of it. The way that it has made me feel when I'm watching it. I've never been so physically moved by a show before. There are moments in the show where my whole body is like, I'm feeling so many emotions right now and like, I'm like tingling and I have all of these feelings. <laughs> so dramatic. It's just so overwhelming the way that it makes you feel like your stomach hurts from laughing so much and then your face hurts from crying so much. The first time I saw it in London, um, so this would be my second time I've seen it. I cried a lot in the show. I'm not a huge crier when it comes to musicals either. You know some people cry at like everything and I'm just not that way. So the fact that I cried is like quite a big deal. I went with my housemates and they sat in a different area to me. So then we met outside on the street afterwards and we were all talking and I just started sobbing again.
event and I genuinely was like, I can't, I can't cope with it, all my feelings. And it's not like a crying out of like a sadness. It's out of just too many feelings. It's like I can't deal with them because I feel so much love and so much happiness from the show. And then also this sadness and it's this incredible blend. And honestly, if you don't go and see the show, you are crazy. It's seriously incredible and you should go and see it. And that's my video. Thank you so, so much for watching this video and I will see you again soon. Bye.